All right, so we finally get to take a look at a case that I've been wanting to review since it dropped just a couple weeks ago. That's going to be the brand new Phone Rebel Air case. So when I say Phone Rebel, you guys probably think of, you know, the Gen 5 case, air mid fiber on the back, grips on the sides, the swappable buttons and all that. This is going to be more of their minimalist case design. So this is the first of their kind. They have never ventured out to make like a so-called minimalist case. This is going to be their first one. And I can tell you guys right off the bat, I love it. I got it in a couple weeks ago. I've been using it pretty much nonstop ever since. And I think you guys will really like this one. So starting off with the packaging, you get a picture of the case on the front. You get some Rebel branding on the bottom there, some Air branding on the side. And then on the back, you have slim design, super grip on the sides, tactile buttons, easy swipe, strong mag safe. You get, of course, that 2.75D screen protector included and full TPU body with, like I said, those micro spikes for the grip on the sides there. So we'll pop the case out of the packaging here. Very reminiscent of the other Foam Rebel cases. It's gonna come in this little foam insert, and then you are going to get that screen protector included, which is always a plus. So we'll put that off to the side here. Taking a look at the case itself, it is going to be that TPU kind of semi-flexible material there. On the back, you have a smooth backing. You get some Phone Rebel branding on the bottom. You get that camera ring for your lens protection. Taking a look at the sides, you get your power button here. The buttons are going to have slits, so we are used to the swappable buttons. These are going to be TPU buttons with those air slits to make them a little bit more tactile. You got some air branding on the top there, and then you have those grips on the side. On the flip side here, you get some more of those grips, volume up and down, and the action button again with those air slits. And taking a look at the bottom, you have your charger and speaker cutouts. On the inside of the case, you have a very smooth, a little bit different from the back and the side materials, a very smooth TPU material there, some more Rebel branding, and then you got your MagSafe in there. So we'll pop the phone in here, take a look around. Very nice fit when you pop it on. Taking a look at the back, like I said, you get that camera protection there, so your lenses are going to be recessed, they will be protected. Taking a look at the screen protection, very similar to the other phone rebel cases you kind of get that four corner claw effect so all four corners are going to be raised if you set it down on its face it's not going to be you know resting on the glass or anything like that and speaking of glass i do have the um rebel glass on here so this is going to be the screen protector from from phone rebel and if you guys can see it comes all the way up to the sides there it fits perfect the glass has been great so far so I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, but yeah, so taking a look at the sides here, we have our power button, very tactile. We got volume up and down, very, very clicky, as well as the action button. So the buttons work perfect. You're not gonna have any issues. I know sometimes with TPU cases, they can be you know, real mushy or just not clicky at all. These are very, very clicky. So great job with the buttons there. Taking a look at the bottom, everything lines up perfect. You got your charger and your speaker cutouts. And then taking a look at the fit of the case, popping the corners off, you get a nice snap on the top. And same thing on the bottom. So the fit is gonna be perfect. Kind of pulling from the sides here, you're not gonna get really any type of movement. When you come up here towards the buttons, you do get a little bit of pull, but it snaps right back into place. The top, same thing, and the bottom, you really don't get any type of play. So for a TPU style case, you would expect, you know, maybe for it to start sagging by the buttons or something like that. The fit on this case is perfect. You're not going to have any issues at all. Very, very tight fit all the way around. The grips on the sides, just to kind of speak about them for a minute, they're very comfortable. Um, sometimes grips on the sides can kind of dig into your hand. I know of a few cases that, you know, they put the grips on there with good intentions to kind of make it, you know, obviously more grippy, but they didn't really feel that great. These are very comfortable. It's not gonna, you know, dig into your hand or start shaving skin off of your palm or something like that. Very comfortable. So great job with that. The MagSafe on the back, putting a wallet on there. You can, as you guys can see, it registers right away. And you kind of have to, you know, the material on the back is a little bit slippery. So some materials like leather may kind of move a little bit extra, but I mean, really, you don't get any type of movement unless you put some force on it. So if this is in your pocket, you'll be fine. If you have, you know, a battery pack, snapping that on the back there, you're not gonna get any type of movement with this type of material here. So battery packs, you got your wallets, your, you know, your your stands, your car mounts, vent mounts, anything like that, 
All of your MagSafe accessories will work perfect with this case. Like I said, I've been using it for a couple weeks since I got it in. It's been on my car mounts and it's been on my 3-in-1 ESR charger next to my bed, stuff like that. I haven't had any issue, you know, even with those, you know, little finger loops and stuff, the MagSafe ones. It works perfect with this case. So no issues with MagSafe accessories. If you guys are looking for a minimalist case, this checks all the boxes. It has great fit, tactile buttons, you have the grip on the sides, great MagSafe strength, you have the little bit of oversized corners for the screen protection as well as the drop protection. It pretty much checks all the boxes. I don't have any issues with this case whatsoever. I've been running it daily. It also comes in a blue color, so if you guys aren't feeling the black color, you can go with the blue. I highly recommend checking it out. I think it's like 30 bucks. So I would recommend, you know, picking it up just for the price alone. You get a great case for 30 bucks. So definitely head on over to their website and check it out. I will leave my links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, turn on that bell, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.